Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Welcome back to Corporate Governance. Today we are going to do a very interesting exercise. Earlier we were talking about uh, the different uh, contextualization, uh, the different modalities, uh, the different connotations, the different semantics of corruption and investigating corruption uh, and accountability. Uh, today we are going to do a very simple exercise so that we also get some hands-on experience in complementing uh, this very important aspect of corporate governance. Now, first of all, I would like all of you to come out and have one notebook and also uh, at least two ball points so that you can go along with me. So, I will give you a few minutes that you basically have that notebook and those ball points. The first thing that you are going to do is, is that you are going to identify one or more instances of local corruption. So, uh, anything in your community or anything in the city of your study or in the city where you are working, uh, a uh, issue or a case of corruption which is well known to everyone. So, at least one of them and preferably two. Now, after that, what you are going to do is, is that you are going to identify a mechanism. Example, that if that corruption had taken place, then how could it be identified and how could more people uh, get to know uh, of that particular incident. Would it be requiring a whistleblower? And you can think about it and how would that whistleblower basically blow the whistle without damaging his or her career or his or her family? How could we be using media, the uh, mechanism of internal audit? Would that be effective? Would external oversight be required or should it be a police investigation? is possible or effective in the community for reporting corruption in the case. So, again using these different tools or mechanisms, how would we make it more effective in the community for reporting that particular corruption case. So, you will be using these different tools and maybe some others which come to your mind and see that what is the reporting procedure and how can we disseminate it in a better way to ensure that the culprits are taken to task and are penalized and punished for their corrupt practices. So, that is going to be uh, one thing you are going to do. The next thing that you are going to do is, what are the methods of reporting corruption? So, again uh, based upon attending all of the different sessions with, that we have been attending and also talking about them a lot, uh, think of the different uh, methods of reporting corruption and uh, then also uh, afterwards do a little bit of research and see which method you did not think of. Uh, what are the challenges to reporting? We have talked a lot about those challenges earlier, but in this case uh, is there any particular challenge? Uh, are there certain vested interests? Are there certain mafias? Are there people so strong that reporting it would become very difficult or it would become immaterial? So, all of these things are extremely important that you encapsulate and conjure up and see that how you can do this case study in a better way. How challenges uh, can be overcome by a systemic change. So, definitely there are many changes and there are many challenges, but what are the changes which are required to make it more systemic? Can we, can we add on technology? Uh, how can technology uh, make it more transparent uh, and more clear and more objective uh, and unswayed uh, by pressures uh, from different sides? So, what can we do? And then what we are going to do is that we are going to weight each method's effectiveness and risk. So, again what we can do is that we can prioritize all the tools and all of the modalities and all of the instruments uh, that we have been talking about. So, uh, what will happen is, is that it will be a very good revision for you when you do this exercise. You can just put them down in bullets, it would not take you too long, uh, it is about a 15 to 20 minute exercise and then most importantly uh, you would also be doing a little bit of research to see what are the modern methodologies of making accountability and anti-corruption more effective and also risk free. So, uh, these are the things that you will be doing and making sure that you get a very good overview from the different research platforms that you tend to visit and that would tend to reinforce and augment your complete learning to the different modules that we have been studying about corruption and accountability. Thank you so much.